16 entities. Then he calls us a mutt, and then he gets allowed to leave. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but uh, Mark tells a story. It's true when I was when I was uh, sergeant of the city council. But he doesn't tell the whole story. When he was protesting and throwing papers up in the air and running around, he was out there fighting for every one of us, all of you. Uh, he was fighting the gay rights bill at that time that got passed. And uh, it was my job, yes, as a sergeant, on to remove him. And he was a little thinner then, with real long hair, and it was easy to, to pick him up, and I did. But it was friendly. We were friends then, we're friends now, we'll always be friends. And when I picked him up and I put him outside the rail, because of the disruption, there was a whole bunch of, Sister Mary Skull in Hawaii, I love you, but a whole bunch of nuns. And, and when I got him and I brought him out to bring him in to the nuns and dropped him, the nuns looked at him, he looked at me, and he jumped back in my arms and started screaming, I'm melting, I'm melting! <laughs> but he's, he's been my friend for, for many, many years. Just, <laughs> just something about this project. At the same time, I had a project going in, trying to get some state funding and have support from the mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, I was in competition with him, and I, and I called the governor, not the one with the 16 getting paid by 16 enemies, but the current governor. And I told him, withdraw my project, I can wait, this is more important. And I didn't want Mark to know, but he found out, he gave me, he came to see me, gave me a hug, and he had tears in his eyes, you know. So that's passion, and that passion is the reason why we're here, right here today. Uh, I, I, I read uh, a lot about this, and the only thing that kind of disturbs me is that the people, and why this is being built, is being built because of so, people that Mark uh, categorized this with similar life experiences and views. And I can understand and appreciate that. But what bothers me, it says that because they can be here, it's because they can have acceptance and they can have comfort and they can have safety and they can have an opportunity to meet people. Well, we still got a long way to go. We still got to make sure that we got to eliminate the acceptance. We got to eliminate the comfort and the safety. And this is a step in the right direction. It's one of its kind in, in, in the nation, and I am extremely proud and honored for two reasons. Number one, to be a friend of Mark's and to have a small part in making this happen. So Mark, keep up what you're doing. As a lot of people said, you're not obnoxious, you're passionate. And <laughs> you, keep, you keep that passion going because you instill it in everybody else. When I see Mark, the first thing I do is start shaking. You know, <laughs> like everybody else starts shaking and try to calm him down. But, but you keep doing what you're doing. God bless you. And I hope to be here many, many more times and name something as significant after you because you sure do deserve it. Thank you. Okay, so we're trying to keep this quick and fast and we're gonna bring people up in delegations. Um, and I want to make this very clear as Bob did very well. This project is bipartisan. We've had support of two governors, one Democrat, one Republican. We've had support of both sides of the aisle. Um, and so it's my pleasure right now to bring up a delegation uh, from the State House and the State Senate. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Farnese, our District uh, State Senator. Larry, come on up. Tony Williams, Senator, come on up. Senator Michael Scott, please come on up. And to speak for them, I, this is where I'll get emotional. Um, during this project, there are many points where it almost dies. And this is an absolutely word for word way this conversation went. Um, we got stuck in the state senate and the state house. And I got a call from State Representative Mike O'Brien. And he said, and these are the exact words, Mark, you're just not pushy enough. <laughs> he says, go kick him in the butt. And we did, and that's why we're here today. Ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, State Representative Mike O'Brien. You know, Mark and I talked often about 
how it really is awful to get old. You notice it took a little bit for me to get up here on the rise. You know, we, we, we'd often talk about how senior citizens, especially LGBT senior citizens, are underserved. That they live on dollars earned in the 70s and the 80s, and, and how hard it is to get by, and, and how there needs to be some housing to help them get by. You know, I, you know the day came, Mark said, Governor Rendell pledged $3 million for this project. I need 1.6 more. Well, all of a sudden that became a $6 million total. But between the House with myself, Representative Dwight Evans, and over in the Senate, Senator Farnese and Stack and Williams, we were able to do that. We were able to get that money together. And I thought that was going to be the hard part. I really thought that would be the hard part. But I got to tell you something. Mark wanted this so bad. He wanted this so bad. He got shy. He got shy. And can you imagine that I got tasked to be the one to kick him in the keister? <laughs> and day after day, something would happen and I would call Mark up and I would say, Another brick in the wall. Another brick in the wall. Well, today, my brother, we're putting real bricks up. God bless.